What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and obviously a big thank you to the OSG crew, to my YouTube family, a lot of new subscribers in the recent time. So if you aren't a member of the OSG crew now, become a member of that great YouTube community now. So the 2018 World Cup is heading in its final stage and we have 8 teams left, 4 games, the quarterfinals, group stage is over, round of 16 is over. So we have a look at the quarterfinals, who will go on into the semifinals and we are looking and predicting a little bit who or which team is able to win the World Cup 2018 in Russia. Before I start talking about those four quarterfinals, make sure to tell me your opinion in the comment section. What do you think about the quarterfinals? What do you think? Who will win each of them? And also tell me what you think who or which team will win the 2018 World Cup. Also like the video would mean a lot to me. And now let's start with the analyze of the quarterfinals. So the first quarterfinal is France versus Uruguay and yeah, it is the winner of Group A against the winner of Group C. France had 7 points in the group stages, Uruguay had 3 games and 3 wins, so 9 points. A very, very, yeah, very good performance from Uruguay in the group stages. They have a very, very solid defense and yeah, obviously in their offensive line they have Suarez and Cavani who yeah, fight for the team, who are able to score in like every minute of the game. So very very dangerous offensive line Uruguay but also a very very good defense and yeah very very solid players and yeah not an easy to play team. On the other hand we have the big World Cup yeah, the World Cup favorite France. A lot of people who I'm talking with are thinking that France can win or will win this World Cup. Yeah, they have a very, very solid team. Overall good players. And yeah, Mbappé showed in the round of 16 that he is a very, very good player. A player who can win matches for this team. So yeah, they have a very strong offensive line with Griezmann and also with Mbappé. Very very good midfield with Pogba and Kante and yeah just overall a very very good team. But they will have problems with Uruguay. They play a very very hard football. They have a solid attacking line. Yeah they can shoot goals in like every minute as I said earlier. So yeah it will be a very very close game till the end. But I think that at the end or in the end France will have a little bit of an edge of elite and yeah that will maybe go into a penalty shootout as a lot of games earlier in this World Cup or maybe it's something like a 1 to 0 in regular time but I think it will be very close and France will go on to the semi final the second quarter final is on the one hand Brazil and on the other hand Belgium. It is the duel between the winner of group F against the winner of group G. So both had like decent group stages. Belgium had a little bit easier group with Panama and Tunisia. They had yeah very successful matches. They shot a lot of goals. And yeah, they also defeated England in the decisive match for the group win. And on the other hand, Brazil, yeah, they had solid games in their group stage. But yeah, they never looked like they would struggle like, for example, Germany or Argentina. So, Belgium, a very, very good and talented team. A lot of young players, a lot of good offensive players. Yeah, overall a good team and yeah, as like as in the year 2014, they are something like the secret favorite for this World Cup title. 
but the question is can they deliver and when we look at the round of 16 where they played against Japan they had some big trouble so they were 0 to 2 behind till like the 7th minute but yeah then they could strike back with header goals yeah they used their high advantage against Japan but they didn't look too solid so they had a lot of good games but they also had their problems no doubt a very very solid team but now they have to play against Brazil with Neymar with Marcelo with Coutinho with all those very very good players and yeah something like Brazil looks a little bit like Germany in other tournaments in other World Cups they don't yeah play that brilliant but they play very very efficient most of their games they won 2 to 0 so 3 in a row now so yeah very good defense and yeah they can score yeah like goals in every minute all those offensive players Coutinho, Jesus, Neymar they can score goals from all the positions of the pitch and yeah they are very very solid very efficient as I said earlier so that will be a very very interesting game can Belgium yeah like be good over 90 minutes they have to be concentrated for 90 minutes but I see a slight edge for Brazil Brazil is a little bit my favorite in this game and yeah a lot of people think Brazil will win this World Cup but yeah I'm not sure with that one it will be a close game as France versus Uruguay but I think in the end Brazil will have the edge will win in a very very close game in our third quarterfinal we have Sweden versus England and yeah what can you say Sweden the first team that we don't would expect in this quarterfinal but they played very solid for now yeah great group stage they yeah they had a heartbreaking loss against Germany in the 94th minute but they won against South Korea and they won against Mexico in a very very nice fashion 3-0 against Mexico and yeah they won their group so don't underestimate Sweden but they playing against England who come second in their group behind Belgium but very easy group against Panama and Tunisia so yeah what do we have we have Sweden with a very very solid defense yeah they basically just try to defend and they just try to score that one goal so that they can win 1-0 to zero, playing without Zlatan Ibrahimovic obviously but without him they don't have a big star on their team they just have a very very yeah solid team they are all fighting for each other and that is working very very good for them now on the other hand the great football nation England they are waiting for the World Cup title for so long now and they have a great generation of footballers now they also won their first penalty shootout ever at the World Cup in the round of 16 I think they are a very solid team yeah they have a great striker with Harry Kane who is actually leading the striker statistics with six goals now so yeah I think they are very decent and they have a good chance to keep on going going in the quarterfinal and also progressing further I think they have a chance on winning the title and I think if they play normal if they found their game they will beat Sweden but it will not be easy but yeah on a normal day England should have the better team should have the better players and probably Harry Kane can make the difference Sweden yeah very solid tournament but I think in the quarterfinal they will end here they will not progress into the semifinals so my favorite here is England maybe a 1 or 2 0 for England so before I forget it make sure to write down in the comments 
who you think will win those quarterfinals, who will win when France meets Uruguay, when Belgium plays against Brazil, and obviously also when England plays against Sweden. Tell me in the comments who will be the World Cup winner, what do you think, and also what do you think about the last quarterfinal, Russia versus Croatia, in the last and fourth quarterfinal, we have the host of the 2018 World Cup, Russia, playing against Croatia with their stars Rakitic, Modric, and yeah, Croatia had a very strong performance for now in the World Cup. Yeah, most people who are interested in football hadn't believed before the tournament that Croatia is that strong. But yeah, they performed beautifully in the group stages. They beat Argentina in a very, very nice fashion. And yeah, they dominated their group. And yeah, they also won their round of 16 match against Switzerland in a penalty shootout. So they also can do penalty shootouts. On the other hand, we have the host of the World Cup. And yeah, the big sensation of the World Cup. Russia without yeah good players in my opinion, but yeah they are fighting for their people, they are fighting for their country, and yeah they were second in their group behind Uruguay, but they defeated Spain in the round of 16. And if you defeat Spain at the World Cup, what can you say? You can defeat nearly anyone. So Beside the fact that Croatia is the big favorite in that match, don't underestimate Russia, don't underestimate their host potential, they have the whole country, all the people in their country behind them and yeah, they will fight 90 minutes, they will fight 120 minutes and they also will strike in the penalty shootout. So both teams are winners of penalty shootouts in the round of 16. Both teams are, yeah, not that good in my opinion, but they played a very, very good World Cup for now. Croatia is the big favorite in my opinion, but we can't underestimate Russia. Whoever defeats Spain is able to win against anyone. So it will be a close game, probably not the best football will be played, but there will be a lot of fighting in this match. And yeah, it will be a close match, but I think Croatia will win this game and head up against England in the semi-finals. After looking at the quarterfinals, I think we will have the semi-finals France versus Brazil and England versus Croatia. So after they played the quarterfinals, I will make another video, yeah, talking about the semi-finals. And if you come back to my channel, yeah, we will see if I'm right with France versus Brazil and right with England versus Croatia. And yeah, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. And yeah, that's it for this quarterfinal analyze video. Thanks for watching. A big thanks to the OSG crew, the fam. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm out. See ya.